Coach, how uh, overwhelming has this past week been? Not just when you know when you heard the news about Lovey, uh, it was probably a, a sad time. Uh, then it set off a whirlwind of events in your life. Yeah, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was uh, I was disappointed and hurt when I heard the that Coach Smith wasn't going to be brought back. Uh, it did set off an incredible chain of events, you know, with multiple teams for me. Uh, but this is always where I wanted to be because I, I have faith in our young players that we have. I have faith in Jason Light uh, as, a, as a leader. I wouldn't say overwhelming. I don't like that word, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you definitely run the gamut of emotions to uh, confuse, sometimes frustrated. Your family's, your family's future is uh, up in the air mm -hmm. for a period of time. So, uh, you know, it's just been, uh, it's been an interesting week. But... I'm a big believer you end up where you're supposed to be, and uh, I'm supposed to be here. Coaching football is obviously your craft. Coaching <laughs> offense is your, your specialty, your niche in, in, in the profession. What did you learn from your previous head coaching experience? I know Arizona State didn't end the way you wanted it to end. Yeah. There has to be a, a, a bit of you that goes back 10 years now thinking, oh, well, I've gonna, I'm gonna, I got to make things right. Sure. Well, <clears throat> mainly I learned uh, don't, don't compromise your standards. You know, I think uh, that's one thing if, as I look back on that time in my coaching career that uh, we might have lowered our standards, we might have compromised, uh, might have uh, done a couple of things that when you look back, you're going, you, you know, you've got a plan, stick to your plan, work your plan, trust your gut, and don't look back. We've talked about the relationship between you and Jameis Winston. It was a lot of fun to watch uh, get, nurture itself last year. Do we realize what we have here? in this quarterback and the potential of the offense in general? Well, first of all, uh, Jameis as an individual player, I think Jameis has huge upside. Jameis came a long way in a short period of time. And if you, if you ask any of the top quarterbacks in this league, I was fortunate enough to work with Matt Ryan in Atlanta. Matt would tell you I'm a way better player in year five than I was mm -hmm. in year one. So that tells me that Jameis has a lot more in him. And then when we talk about our offensive football team, the pieces we have around Jameis at every position, Doug Martin, uh, Vincent Jackson and Mike Evans outside, uh, Donovan Smith and Ali Marpet. And I'm, I'm, miss, I'm leaving out guys, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of young talent on offense, but we also do on defense too. <laughs> We've got some, some really good pieces to build our defense around and I'm excited to get to know those guys as well. And now we get to, to uh, harp on you a little bit about fixing this defense. What, uh, in, in your mind, big picture, how does this get fixed where it's a complete football team here going into 2016? Well, you, you just said it, uh, a complete football team. In the NFL, you, you've got to win in all three phases. You know, you've got to win on defense, special teams, you've got to win on offense. So uh, how do you fix it? It's a process. There, if there was one easy thing to come in and stick a key in the hole and turn it, <laughs> anybody could do it. I mean, it's, it's not going to be that easy. It's going, to take, it's going to take a lot of work by a lot of people. It's going to take, you've got to have a little luck along the way. We've got to have another tremendous draft like Jason and his guys pulled off last year where we drafted almost all offensive players but that one defensive guy Quan Alexander what a, what a player uh, we got to add some right uh, pieces through free agency and then you know we've got to stay the course be consistent and uh, elevate our standards and uh, I think we can get there and finally you know all the college all-star games they they kick off now they're coming up here this is a busy time for uh, really GMs and, and personnel staffs, but coaching staffs as well. How active are you uh, in that process or have you been in the past? Do you enjoy that part of the job leading up to the draft? Well, you know, this league, again, the NFL, it's, uh, it's so popular. They've made the draft mm -hmm. a made-for-TV event. You know, they've got all these things starting with the college all-star games, uh, the reality shows, mm -hmm. the training sessions leading up to the draft. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, the coaching staffs are involved. Jason has a plan, in fact, uh, in place for how the coaches will be involved with the scouts and how's, how we prepare for the draft. And, uh, you know, it's, it's part of the process. And uh, I, I love the entire process, but that's, uh, that's a very important part, and that's what's coming up next.